Okay. We are back. And I am now playing Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, so, Dragon Quest Builders, as far as I understand, is basically a sequel to Dragon Quest 1. But, um, happens basically right after it, if I remember correctly. Whoops. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Wait, is B confirm in this game? That's not good. <laughs> Okay, well, at least we get to watch the... Well, I assume we're going to see the cutscene anyways. Chapter 1, Cantlin. A land of plains and plateaus in the southern Alfgard, which was once home to a formidably fortified city. Okay. B is confirmed. Oh, God. Okay, can I switch that? Settings? What, what do I have? Virtual is full screen. I can just do borderless. That's fine. Uh, I, I assume that's good. I got higher. Be think on, please. Okay, so I'll just need to remember to <laughs> press B to select. All right, it's time to design your character. Let's move the cursor out of the way. Okay, take, yeah, hair. Yeah, skin, I think skin is fine. Maybe like, And then eyes. Sure. Uh, top fan. Select, I guess. Yes. So thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side, do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Oh, so this is the end of Jack Quest 1, okay. Thou wishest not for half the world? Wilt thou not reconsider? It is an offer few would refuse. At long last, I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Wait, did the hero choose yes? Wait a minute. <laughs> Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. So the... The hero was tempted by the choice. Oh my god. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. That's crazy. What do you mean the hero chose yes? Foxan, my child. You have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? I see. 
They have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving. Use left stick to move around and A to jump. Have a run around and stretch your legs. Okay. Thank goodness, all seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Toxin, my child, I have awoken to you so that you may perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may. What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but it's not the fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child, it is true, you're nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Let's turn down the game a little bit. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Okay, Oxen have changed his first handful. Good. Oxen, you have been blessed with a special power the power to combine raw materials to build items anew. You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gather to prepare some healing cream. Turn down the game a little bit more. Doxan, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from mar raw materials. Now use the healing cream. Okay. You feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. Uh, how are the men and women uh, who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation? Toxin, my child. Take her duty rests upon your shoulders. You must. Hmm? Well, yes, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place. But first, you must learn of your... <sighs> Very well. I'll show you how to build a path out of this crypt. First, take this broken branch. Okay. Well done, Toxan. Within that humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. Okay. Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now, only you have the power to build such things. Toxin, my child, you have been entrusted with a divine mission too. Well, I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but you'd not rather learn more... Very well. To build a path out of here, you must first equip the weapon you have made. Press Y and press the cypress stick in your hand. Okay. Well done. Weapon weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost this power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Toxan, my child. The dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. This land is ever again to see the light. You must fulfill your sacred duty and... Toxan? You're not asleep, are you? <sighs> Perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, first you must break apart and collect the nearby earth. Alright. Well done, Doxan. That should be enough. Press Y to place the blocks, blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. Okay. 
mark the location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. Okay, while in motion you can sail at individual blocks without needing to jump. You can also break into a run by holding down the right right button the uh, right uh stick, I'm guessing. As you move. Oh, no, right bumper. Okay. Examine. Someone has scratched the meshes into the wall beneath the chains. The stones are so worn that the writing is illegible. Get any more like Yes. Nice. Okay. Okay, well done, Toxan. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alfgard before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create, until it was wrenched from, their, from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Toxan, my child, you have been entrusted with a momentum, momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt. The people of Elfgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean, you don't get it? <laughs> Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this was comes as quite a shock. Let's adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you, and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world, and the role you are to play in its salvation. I am Rubus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you as always. Oh, and Toxan, there's one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Oh. What does that mean? Oh my god, it's so cool to hear the overworld theme. So this is the map of, or the, the regions, oh, long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed all around with stout fortifications, but all was destroyed in the relentless, relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Doxan, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alfgard arise once more. To the end, I bestow you, a, I bestow unto you a gift. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that its bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light, the banner of hope. Okay. So yeah, this is the map from uh, Dragon Quest 1. 
That swamp we saw earlier is where Erdrick's armor was. Or not, not his armor, but, um, the proof of Erdrick, I believe. This, Cantlin, if I remember correctly, was the town with the golem in front of it. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. When you plant your banner of hope, the area around it will become your base. The more your base develops, the more the meter in the top left corner of the screen will fill up. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. Oh, there is somebody. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? If a resident in your town has an exclamation point mark over their head, it means they have something to ask you. Talk to them and see what they want. You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? You don't remember? The goddess told you about to come here? You've got an Asia and hearing voices. That's not suspicious in the slightest. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Talk to him, my child. Even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Cantlin and Alone. Your first step is in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join you in living here. The little remains of this dilapidated house saves, uh, save the door. Repair it by filling in the holes in the walls with dirt. You can place a block above or below you by pressing left bumper or left trigger. Hold down Y to place many blocks in succession. Make the solids and these blocks of earth and make this ruined house livable once more. Okay. You have a pointer mode with T. You can use them. You can then use the right mouse button to position items and left button to destroy them from afar. You're holding the button down and okay. Well, I'm using the controller, so. Wow, that's incredible. The walls were all full of holes, but now they're good as new. Oh, you fixed it with dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. You completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up the house, house like that. How'd you do it? What? You got this power to build new things? What does build mean? Do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people in this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. I can't see any torches lying around here. Beside your banner of hope, you'll find a mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct the torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Okay. Oh, sweet, it makes five of them. Hey, where'd you find that torch? You didn't find it? You built it? 
Ah, so that's what building means. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks, I understand. Sort of. Do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Okay. Just realized something. You never told me your name. Doxan? What kind of name is that? I just think you have any special powers at all. You can't judge someone by their name, right? Anyways, Toxan. Still got those sources you paid, right? You should put one in the house. The room is complete. It has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when sun has set. Just try to put place your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. Like that. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's cool. Brilliant. Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing, Doxan. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. You can't just, just judge someone by their appearance, right? Anyway, thanks, Doxan. Now we have somewhere to live. Seed of life. Makes a room a room. For a room to be recognized, it must have walls at least two blocks high, a door, and a light source. Not only is this fundamental a design principle, you'll find it contributes to a wide range of effects. Okay, so lots of things will matter about what's inside a room, I guess. Hey, Toxin, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be much nicer if we had something to sleep on at night? I know, maybe you could build something. You must gather materials that you must might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time, night or day, to restore your health. It'd be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If you had two beds, we can sleep next to each other. Aw. This time, Toxin, I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw mattresses young Pippa requests. A straw mattress can be constructed from grassy leaves. To build one, you must first... Doxin, are you alright? Eureka! Doxin works out how to make a straw mattress. The monsters will always attack from this direction. You must build a wall here to defend the city. Like somebody... Interesting, okay. Alright. How many do I need? Recipes. I need four. Okay. Like that. Or... Oh, no, I need six. There we go. And another one. Doxon built his first basic bedroom. Okay. Wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Toxan. Oh, well, there's a day you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in and around you and more powerful monsters emerge in force. When night falls, you would do well to return to your base. Rest your head on the pillow and sleep until morning. You discovered the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power you created uh, to create that I bestowed upon you, did you also bear the special skill to discern what can be made from the materials you find? This is a wondrous power you have. 
and shall no doubt prove invaluable to you in your quest to rebuild this city. Toxan? Hello? Toxan? Was the goddess speaking to you? You're staring off into the space with your mouth open again. You've got to pay more attention to what's going around going on around you, Toxan. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. You guess to feel time passing by. Does that mean there's now a day-night cycle? Yes. Whether you're co collecting materials or building rooms, time is always on the move. Eventually, night will fall and another day will dawn. You can check what time it is on the clock in the top right corner of the screen. Can I ask you something? With all this wandering around and collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? Huh? No, it's not just me. That's not my tumbly rumbling. You must be hearing things again. Anyway, look, there are lots of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. Can you go get some plumberries for me, please? We need at least five for a decent meal. Well, fruit that never falls far from the tree. Perhaps you should take a look and see if there are any nearby. I could see some over there. Uh, okay. I see. Okay. That's three. Nope. There's a few more over here. All right. Oh, you found so many plumberries. Can I have them? Yes. Alright, thanks. To tell the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Yeah, these are for you. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty, you should try some. Somebody starts to rumble. So now I have a hunger meter, I'm guessing. As time passes, you'll become hungrier and hungrier. You can see how full you are by checking the hunger meter in the top left corner of the screen. Fill yourself up again by eating food. Okay. Yeah. You know, Toxin, I've been thinking. You run around smashing up all the trees and grass and stuff and you use the materials you find to build new things, right? It'd be pretty useful to have stuff to store that, all that stuff, don't you think? After all, you're going to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. Why? Well, it's a secret, Tiki. But you should still make something to put all your stuff in. Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage your resources you gather would serve you well. Can you conceive of an item that would serve such a role? Be a chest. There we go. Recipes. I need three broken branches, which I have already. Okay. Wow, you made a chest. Now you can get all the stuff you've collected in there and go and collect even more stuff. You know, Doc, there's something I've always wondered. What exactly happened to this world? They say that the light was stolen from us by a really bad man. Ever since, it's all anyone could do is just it's been all anyone could do just to survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help anyone else out. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild this city and everyone could live together? I feel like if you're around, anything can happen. We should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. But we'll need loads and loads of materials to do that. 
That's why I asked you to make a chest. Alright, so it's agreed. We're going to build the biggest, bestest city in the whole wide world. I have to think about what you need to build, and you'll build it. You're gonna help me, aren't you? Aren't you? Okay. Let me save. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Like, yeah, I can build something. That'd be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? I'm gonna build things. I'm gonna need a room to work in. Just like the one in this picture. Can you build me a room like the one I've drawn, please? It seems that your example has awoken within young Pippa the will to build. Blueprints such as the one she has gifted unto you may be laid on the ground by pressing Y. You did plan in more detail with the menu button. Complete a blueprint, ensure that you place all the necessary items exactly as shown. Be sure to build rooms within the bounds of your, of your base, lest the inhabitants of your town fail to recognize them. For the workbench, you can use that mason's workstation near the flag. You probably have more to uh, have to bash it about a bit before you can move it. Oh, and the room will need a door to get up, get in and out, and a torch or something to light it up. You can make things like that from raw materials, right? Okay. Okay, a straw door. A room door made from sticks and straw can be opened and closed. Okay. Home is where your base is. Building a room within your base will make it functional and add points to your base meter. That makes sense. Maybe we can do it here. Or... Um... There we go. Okay, so there's a door there. Um, I probably need some dirt. A lot of dirt. Get my grass. I'm gonna need that for the door. Some branches over here. If that's enough. Okay. And it needs to be at least too tall. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. OK. 
Okay. Getting a little late. Might need to pass the day soon. Whoops. Okay. Put the torch down here. And then chest there. Okay, we need to make the workbench. Or do I move the workbench into... Oh, I see. Wait, no. Dr. Mills is first stone mason's workshop. There's a workshop coming along. Oh, more detail. To craft a bonfire young Pippa has drawn, you will require a certain amount of blue goo. This can be collected from the many slimes that populate these nets. Okay, where does the... No. Move this from outside. Okay. Okay, view blueprint. We need earth, a bonfire, and a chest. Okay, the chest was part of it. How do you... How do you... Oh no. No, I didn't mean to build another door. Oh no. There we go. There we go, now it's back to where it was. Let's go to bed first, and then I will figure out the whole campfire thing. Okay. So, campfire. What do you do? Uh, blue goo. Just one blue goo. Okay. Just need to beat up a slime. Okay, bonfire. There we go.
And wait, blueprint done. Boxing and please pip his picture. Goes to Stone Nation's workshop. Hooray, you built the workroom. I asked I asked for it. Thanks, Toxan. It's just like the one in my picture. Optal, the inhabitants of your town seek to assist your efforts by presenting you with blueprints. Did you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other construction, search for them in the nearby wilderness. Some materials can only be obtained by defeating the monsters that maraud the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. I use my new workshop to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put it all in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at the all the amazing things I've made. Sweet. Horse cloth. Alright, now what? Thanks again for the workshop, Toxan. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. It's not going to be much of a city if it's just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. Look at it. Like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to come to live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city. He was on the other side of the mountains the last time I saw him. Go and find him, Toxan, and get him to join us. Make good use of your compass, my child. It will be a great use to you in finding what you seek. I recommend you to take stock of your surroundings and search for the fellow of whom P young Pippa spoke. A new quest marker has appeared on the compass. Okay. He's this way. Lots of stuff here. Suspicious looking man. Is he here? The bonfire is burning brightly. It looks like it's been freshly stoked. Someone must be nearby. Ancient books are so difficult to read. Deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. The handwriting is so bad that Oxen cannot summon up the will or to read anymore. Okay. Mushrooms? Somebody there? The trap monsters have buried me alive. They completely covered me in the earth and I can't get out. Please, whoever you are, get me out of here. Take your blows carefully and free this man from his earthen tomb. Oh, I have to destroy everything? Ah. 
Now are you happy? Phew! Free at last! And cannot thank you enough, young man. But tell me, who exactly are you? I'm sure I would remember such a funny looking face. What? You say you're building a town near here? By my bushy beard, that is wonderful news. Let me help. Let me join your city and help rebuild it. Uh, what are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may want whatever strange face you like. <laughs> you may make whatever strange face you may like. I'll find my way to your town whether you like it or not. I am Rolo, the proud owner of that most vener venerable of books, the Cantilene Chronicle. I assure you that it and I will prove invaluable to this new city of yours. Now lead the way. Okay. This is There's an old worn signpost here with the words "My Pledge" emblazoned on the top. A lot of reading, uh, writing underneath. Would you like to read it? Yes. How many years have passed since the vile and wicked dragon lord enshrouded our realm in darkness? Monsters roamed the land unchecked, and even my dear home, the city of Canton, had finally fallen. What a matter of months after being robbed of the power to create that we did begin to lose our culture. Even now, fewer and fewer of our people are, are literate. For so long after we did, for so long did we take that most dear and precious power for granted that without it, we are undone. But if I cannot prevent humanity's decline, at least I can record it. To this end, I resolve to travel the lands of Alfgard and take note of what has befallen mankind. May this notice stand testament to my vow. I intend to call collate the records of my journey into a book, which I shall title The Passage to Tantagel. I invite all those who read this pledge to follow in my footsteps and seek out my story. May the goddess watch over thee in all thine adventures. Sir Reginald Augustus Grains, Antlet Brigade of Guards. Damn. Yeah, you found somebody to join our town. What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? I'd be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. But but he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? And he must be really clever, too. I mean, he's got such a big bushy beard after all. <laughs> but anyway, now that we found a new friend, we can all work together to make this the best city in the whole of Alfgard. My seed of life. Could I be using this? Oh, okay. It's like the other seats. Alright, makes sense. My bristly brows, this town is possibly brimming with life. Why, I do believe that the Cantlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's the perfect location to bring the legendary city of Cantlin back to life. Oh, I mentioned the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Cantlin Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history of in the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text, 
could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Toxan. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Toxan, my friend, I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims. Was it truly you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things, a gift that mankind lost so long ago. It could be that you are the builder of whom the Cantlin Chronicle speaks, a legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Ah, yes, Toxan, I nearly forgot. The path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met. Fairly treacherous, wasn't it? Well, the Cantlin Chronicle describes a special tool that could be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid the mountains. The most convenient contrabands that lets you travel at a blinding speed and back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Is it a zoom stick or something? You only lay your hands upon a new material to discern what items can be built from it. The chimeras you seek dwell at the foot of the mountain, passed by this place. Use your compass to find them, that you might not lose your way. Okay. Oh, this way. There we go. There's one. All right. Fancy. All right. Sweet. Nope. Oh, come on. Recipes. I should probably make one of these, huh? Five feathers. Oh, my God. That's three. Ugh. Four. Oof. All right, five. Sweet. Let's uh, quit this place. I should probably not be out too much longer, or else. Yeah, okay, now the music has changed. <laughs> oh, I should make a third bed. Let's do that. No, no. Uh. Okay. Okay. Let's put the chest somewhere. Like here. No. Nope. Wrong button. Okay. And put our uh Oh, right. 
I need to equip it. There we go. So let's put this away. And that should be fine for now. And go to bed. Alright, let's craft this item. Okay. Got us above. This is Chimera Wing. It is just as the Cantlin Chronicles described. And there's no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long lost powers of construction. You really are the builder. Ever since the light was lost. Whoops. I can't go back. Uh, the day that Benevolent Rubus would send the Builder to save us. Toxin, my child. You needed only to touch the Chimera's feather to know what you could build from it. Seek out some more materials and speak to those... Blah, blah, blah. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings, my child. And if you see anything that you have never seen before, be sure to collect it. You and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Cantlin. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought this town to ruin. The place was once girdled all about with by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets, and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It was even said that a great golem once went over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. The citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated, and nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Cantlin, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt, with your powers and my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you. <laughs> that laugh is a little spooky, but... Alright, let's save. Alright. You know, Toxan, I've been so starving lately, I could keep my own head. All this building and inventing is hungry work. So I've been thinking, if we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you could build to cook things on? If you think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so that we can all store the delicious deal, uh, dishes we can make. Make a room we can cook in. Hey, a cook fire. Alright, um, we can cook over here. Okay. Okay, and now we just need a cook fire and a chest. Uh, chest. There we go. Cook fire. We need a broken branch, grassy leaves, and a bonfire. Okay, how much do I need for a bonfire? Blue goo. Okay. So we need a bunch of steaks and blue goo. There's our blue goo. Still not. Okay. I need a number of branches. Uh, some grass. There we go.
I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Alright, campfire. Or bonfire. And then... Cook fire. All right. And then... Sweet. Fruit kitchen. Blimey, you did it. You made, it, made me a place to cook. I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. Thank you, Doxan. That chest is perfect. If I make anything really, really tasty, I'll put it in there so you can try it too. Okay, that's done. Oh. Well, well, well. By my bulbous belly. It seems we have a kitchen now. This creative power of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. Let's say we, you test them out and make me something to eat. What? Make it yourself? You build a whole kitchen for Pippa, but you won't even make me a single measly meal? Doxan, you wound me. I thought we were friends. By the way, I should mention that I saw some delicious looking orange mushrooms, or marshrooms, Growing down by the water's edge. I have a few of those, actually. I'm sure you can make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. Do you have an agreement, friend? And we have mushrooms already. Doxin, my friend, do I detect a succulent scent of freshly roasted mushrooms? The fragrance alone is a mellow medley of mouth-watering flavors. And my growling gizzard, these shall make a magnificent meal. Go now, hand them over. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, okay. Mmm. Mmm. Marvelous work, Toxan. We shall have to rename you the Cooker. The Gantlin Chronicle co covers a wide range of topics. The chapters concerning the preparation of a hearty, healthy meals are of particular... Pardon? You want to see it yourself? The Gantlin Chronicle with your own two eyes? Sorry, Toxan, but that book is a priceless family heirloom. You just go parading it around in front of anyone that asks. And besides, the tome is written in ancient and cryptic script. There's no way that you or anyone else would be able to read it. What little knowledge I have, I myself have gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. However, I have not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring the city to its former greatness. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. But fear not, my friend. I will not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you'll be the first to know. As for the mushrooms, it's only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labor, too. Take this as a token of our everlasting friendship. Sweet. I'm pretty hungry, so let's eat it. Nice. What, have I finished reading that book yet? Learn some patience, young man. Discovering the Gantlin Chronicle will take time. Doxin and our, and our work on restoring the city has only just begun. As you just said, while continuing my studies, you labored to rebuild the city to its former greatness. Prove yourself the builder you claim to be. Again, cleaning shrooms and placing within them the items you create can increase the level of your base. But be wary that you do not place your decorations more than two blocks above the floor, for such items will not count towards your points total. Now go, my child. Fill your town with buildings and those buildings with furnishings and see your new home flourish. Pay attention. Now, can you think of anything we could use to decorate all these new rooms that you, you're about to build? A pot? Okay. 
Decorate the rooms in your base with furniture and other items to add points to your base meter. Fill your rooms with decorative items and take your base to a whole new level. Okay, so let's... What do I need? Blue goo. Okay, so let's build like two pots. Or let's say three pots since I have three rooms. That's oh, coming for me. Oh, a milk blossom bud. Okay. Have they built anything of use? They built a door. Okay. That's something. Okay. Getting there. Oh, sleep. Getting a little late. And now I need to think of some rooms to make. Maybe I can work on just completing the rooms that we have. I think there's a few structures here. I think this right here could be a room. We have an ad break, so I'm going to go ahead and pause and go on a BRB.
Okay, we're back. Need dirt. A lot of dirt. Oops. A little kind of horde. a door. Oh. Dig out. There you go. All right, empty room. Just pink. Hmm. Yeah, two doors. Probably make. No, I'll just leave a torch in here for now. Sweet. Wonderful work, Toxan. I am impressed. Not only are you the legendary builder, but it seems your powers are becoming even greater. My child, no matter how many monsters you defeat, you will grow no stronger. Only by the weapons you wield and the armor you wear will your might as a warrior increase. You're the builder, my child, and it is by building the space that your true strength will be revealed. So it's that's what they meant by not a hero. Okay. I'm sorry to say though that I've made scant progress in deciphering the Candle Chronicle. I dare say, I dare say it will be some time still before. And my sensitive ears. Did you hear that? Or what? Oh, I should eat. Let's get some mushrooms. Let's put the bud in, like, the chest, just in case I need it for something. Nope. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah, more food, more food. I need to do that. Food.
I don't know if this burns my hunger faster. I mean, it makes sense if it did, but I think I mentioned that. Probably about as far as I can go for now. Oh, more mushrooms. Okay. Hey, break rock yet? No. Hmm. Get late. Let's cook. Okay, I see. Nice. Let's make some white petals. Alright, and then bed. Probably, uh... all right, let's see what he wants from us. The most terrible tidings. No not has driven them to lit. But the monster is planned to attack our great city in force. We must protect Catelyn at all costs. Fox in. We must prepare our defenses against the coming assault. But fear not. I shall fight by your side. By your fight. Yeah. By your side, my friend. I shall do my duty by protecting dear Pippa and our beloved home from harm. Well, it speaks the truth, my child. The vicious beasts that dwell whereabouts are heading here in droves. This town is the seat of all of Alfgard's rest restoration, but it's not be allowed to fall at the hands of the monsters. An oak club in hand and enough healing cream to tide you through the onslaught, you must drive back the Dragon Lord's foul followers. Uh, I think so. This is your first true battle, Toxin. But fear not, for I know you will prevail. <laughs> Excellent.
Any other monsters? Nope. Nice. Okay. Love these sound effects. Well done, my child. You have saved Cantlin from the monster's audacious advances. As hope wells within the townspeople's hearts, so too will your banner of hope grow, blanketing the land with ever more warm and tender light. But now it seems the location of your base is known to the Dragonlord's vile vassal. The monsters fear that, should the people of Elfgard band together, they will lose their dominion over these lands. No, about, no doubt these beasts will launch yet more offensive air long in an attempt to crush this beacon of hope. You must protect this place, my child, whatever it takes, no matter what manner of brutish behemoth assails it. Huh? You don't know if you are equal to the task? In fact, you do not really understand what this task is? Uh, this task I have given you is all about? You just want to build things, not fight the monsters? This very moment, that may well be so. But as you come to know more of the people here, you will realize that with great power comes great responsibility. I've done all I can for this benighted land. The rest is up to you, my child. Work together with your new friends and restore the city of Cantlin to its former greatness. I must leave you now, but I know that you shall meet again when your work here is done. Until then, know that I do watch over you always. Blue tech tablet pads. Okay. We have another resident already. Brilliant work showing those blighters whose boss talks in. It seems the filthy fiends have found our humble settlement. We have no way of knowing when they, they might strike next. We must devise some means to keep them at bay. By the way, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments in the aftermath of the battle. I've seen an artifact with similar design in the Cantlin Chronicle and kind of action that I am and investigated further. If you were to stick those fragments together again, I believe they would form a device known as a teleportal. Brantley, you just plunk that thing down on the ground and, hey, presto! The whisky way and a sunbeam to a place where you can find whatever your heart desires. For a builder like yourself, putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. You think you can glue that teleportal together again? Interesting. An ancient artifact that can vein you to far flung fields, once placed, can be used to travel to and from another island. Cool. I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and thought it warranted investigation. Imagine my surprise when I discovered a bustling village. But who are you? And what are you doing in a place like this? I beg your pardon? You're building a city? Good luck with that. If you expect people to work together and then live in harmony, you've got another thing coming. I hate to burst a rebel boy. But there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for anyone but himself. Speaking of which, I'm tired of, I'm tired out after that trek. I'll stay here and rest for a while if you don't mind. My name's LaRouche. Can't be staying long, I don't think. But in any case, please make your acquaintance. What do you want? Oh, the teleportal. Uh, I feel like that's what I'm currently wearing, right? Currently looks like ragged rags. My, my baby blue eyes, you've done it, Toxin. You've made a teleportal. Now you can travel to distant, mysterious worlds and back again. In these new and exciting lands, you're sure to find new and exciting materials. The wish to build new exciting items. 
quickly now, plop that teleporter down on the ground and hop on through to whatever wonderful destination awaits you. Actually, Doxan, before you head off, there is something I wish to ask of you. Something on which the good of our city and its continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleporter up and running, I beg you, speak with me before you step through it. Hmm, okay. Let's put it like... Here? Let's... Also... I know, once again. I just wanna... wall this up. Where is he? There you are. By my athletic physique, the teleportal has activated that mystical, whirling light, possibly hypnotic. When the teleportal shines like that, it shows that a path is open to a place where all your dreams can come true. Doxan, my friend, there is one thing I wish to ask of you before you pass through that glimmering veil. I ask that you find out how to build that most mighty of tools, the giant pallet. The Cantlin Chronicle describes the giant mallet as a fearsome hammer strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Rocks and wood aside, you are bound to find a veritable bounty of new materials wherever this teleporter takes you. With new materials comes ideas for new items. Items we can use to make our city even bigger and better. The monsters known as hammerheads carry these giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure they could tell you how to build one. Once you have learnt the recipe, waste no time. Build one straight and... Straight away and show it to me. Uh, a hammer hood? Where where do I find a hammer hood? I mean. I can certainly look for a hammerhood. Hmm. No. Oh. There's a message written on the signpost. The bridge that once connected these islands was destroyed by the monsters. Here the power to cross lakes and rivers in this way is no longer within mankind's grasp. Uh... I mean, I can probably make a bridge, right? Just need enough dirt? Should it take? Repelled by a strange force. Okay, well, that answers that. That's a progression thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Still not sure where to find a hammer hood then. Oh, you probably put this away. Light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Toxan's mind. I know this music. Beg pardon? The words of the king hath slipped to thy mind? Forsooth, what manner of hero art thou to forget such a speech? Permit me what to regale thee with his majesty's words once and more, and him. In days of yore, thy revered ancestor did receive of the almighty goddess the spear of light. By its power was our world rid of the menace which did beset it. Yet alas, some of the fear years have passed, there did arise a new threat, the dragon lord. With his cunning, he did steal away the sphere of light from us, plunging the land into darkness once more. Should the state of affairs be suffered to continue, the night must surely take unrelenting hold, and our realm perish. So I say unto thee, vanquish the accursed dragonlord, and reclaim the sphere of light. All of Alfgard, or Alfgard, doth place its trust in thee, hero. Fulfill thy destiny, and deliver this land from the darkness. Hmm. It seems like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory... Or somebody else's toxin can't remember. Am I the hero? That's confusing. Okay. So I imagine we don't have the recipe for the giant alley yet. No. Okay, so we need to go out and find a hammer hood. Where have I been yet? That way? That way? Okay. Go this way. There's Drakis. Climbs. No hammerheads. Do I need to build my way over the mountain? Maybe? Let's see. It's a green dragon. Okay. Uh, maybe not what I'm looking for. <laughs> but... It's new stuff. That can't be bad. The 
campfire. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with the green dragon. Where the heck would a hammer hood be? Or is the hammer hood going to be through the portal? I need to see more jackies. Alright, let's use this. Yes. Nope. Yes. Let's just see. Okay. Wander of the great plains of Cantal Cantlin, I bestow this blue Navaglobe unto thee. Set it firmly upon the ground, and ever shall it guiding its guiding light be reflected upon thy compass. Thus wishes to return to a place with confidence, whether it be a place of safety or opportunity. Please set this globe before thee and let its guide thy, let it guide thy way. Oh, well, that's nice. To whosoever readeth this missive, may Rubus watch over thee and all thine adventures. To Reginald Augustus Greenus, Gentleman Brigade of Guards. Interesting. Okay, there's she slimes, so there are new enemies here. Oh, Hammerhood. Okay. I was supposed to use the portal. Oh, that was not phrased very clearly. Okay, orange oil. Wayfair is close. Magic die. There you go, clump of fur. Leather armor. Leather shield. Okay, let's check the Wayfair's armor. Uh, I need a cord. I need something new. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Ooh, butter beans. Boiled butter beans. Do I need something like rope to make a cord? Or perhaps it's something I need to get from an enemy. Oh, there's vines. Does that do anything? Piece of ivy. Cord. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Recipes. For cord. Okay, we have plenty for that now. And then for the wayfarer. That increases movement speed. I feel like I like that more. And then I need wood. But we need to get the hammerhead stuff. Oh. Oh, there we go. Hammerton Heights Visitor Center. <laughs> strike, strike, strike me down. I'm a hu it's a human. What do you think you're doing barging in here like you own the place? You've got a plot of a lot of nerve, you know. Well, no harm done, I suppose. To be honest, I don't really have anything against humans. So, what do you want? 
What? You want to take a look at my tool? But, but, but we've only just met. <laughs> oh, you're talking about this hammer. Oh my god. If you want to know how to make a giant mallet, Barbarina is the hammer hood to ask. She shouldn't be hard to find. There's a bonfire on the roof of her house. So just look for that. Here, human. Take, take, take this. Consider it a sign of our newfound friendship. Oh, a signpost. Nice. Bonfire on her. It doesn't quite look like a bonfire, but... This may be it. Oh my good. Oh, Bobarina's in there. <laughs> okay. I just that. Oh, vines can be climbed. Neat. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't a little human. I'm Clavarina, the head hammerhood. I suppose you might call me the hammerhead. What might a poor, beleaguered human want from one with me? Mercy me, you want to know how to make our giant mallets? I'm sorry, my dear. I know it must be hard being a human, but you won't turn into a hammerhead that easily. Besides, these hammers are our most precious treasure. The recipe is a closely guarded secret. It would be right to tell every Tom, 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 Dick, and Harry how to make them. Come now, dearie, don't be like that. Perhaps there's some way we could... Oh, I know. My room's got three great big holes in it. The wind comes right through it and plays havoc with my old bones. Now don't get me started on the rain. I get soaked to the skin. I catch, catch, catch my dear... My death one of these days, I tell you. A few block, block, blocks of the straw floor would plug those holes right up. I do it myself, but I'm not as young as I once was. Now how about it? Do you think you could fix my roof? Use the ivy around here to make the cord you need to bundle up the straws into blocks. As you've built some straw floor, uh, straw floor blocks, just pop them in the holes. If you fix up my roof for me, I'd be ever so grateful. I might even show you how to make a giant mallet just like mine. Okay. Oh, there's a table up here. How convenient. Okay, so we need three. You just make ten by default. Okay. Draw flooring clip. Okay. Covering that adds glass to any earthen floor. Changes nearby earth box into straw block. Okay. Nice. Alright. Okay. My word, you fixed my roof. And what a wonderful job you've done, too. I didn't think you, you had it in you. Hold on a minute. A human has the power to build, build, build things out of nothing. Don't tell me you're the legendary builder. Oh, my. Would you listen to me? Getting all excited. Don't worry, dearie. Your secret's safe with me. You humans were once so powerful, but now there's hardly anything left of you. Meanwhile, us monsters grow stronger by the day. Truth be told, I can't say I'm happy about this arrangement. I think, 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 this world would, could do with a bit of balance. Now, that's not to say I want to see the whole world crawling with humans, but it'd be a really shame if you all dried out. Or died out. Alright, I'll help you. This is just between you and me, dearie. We wouldn't want the Dragon Lord finding out now, would we? First things first. Let me show you how to make, uh, how to build, build, build a giant mallet. All right. Oh shit! <laughs> the skeleton's coming for me. Okay, I just use some broken branches. Neat. 
Okay, now I just need to equip that, right? Nice. Somebody that wasn't born back when the humans were in charge. Oh. Basically being a build, build, builder. Now, I do have a habit of nattering on a bit. Because I can't stop. What do you say, dearie? You have the time to listen to my... To an old gas, gas, gas pack like me? Yes. You do? Bless your heart. First of all, let me tell you about the giant mallet. The most prized possession of every hammerhead. There's just a few swings of a giant mallet. You can chop, chop, chop trees into chunks and reduce rocks to rubble. And there's ever so many things to be made from wood and stone. I'm sure a clever cook, cook, cookie like you could come up with all sorts of ideas. You can even use a giant mallet to dig up the metals and minerals you'll find up in the mountains or down in the caves. There's copper and coal and iron, all sorts of wonderful materials buried out there. They all have their uses. Take this giant hammer in hand and start smash, smash, smashing all the things you couldn't smash before. It's just the kind of thing the builder needs, don't you think? That said, oh. Oops. But don't mean to stop you, dearie. You have to give someone a good, good, <laughs> good biff, biff, biffing with your giant mallet. Go right ahead. I just think you'll find it more useful for gathering materials, that's all. Let's see, what's next? I know. Alright. Now, uh, all right now, pay attention. This bit is important, but it's a little bit complicated. You can use some materials to make new materials. These materials don't do anything on their own, but they can be used to build different things. When you patched up my roof for me, what a lovely job you did, too. You didn't know how to build blocks of straw for it. You cut, cut, cut down some ivy and learned how to make a cord, but it was only when you made the cord that you worked out how to build the straw floor block. Now you've built something yourself your giant mallet, I'm sure you're going to run around smash smash smashing things up. You're going to find yourself with trees and rocks and copper and coal and all sorts of different materials. But you can't ha build everything out of lumber and ore. You'll have to take them back to your workstation and process them first. Also, um, I suppose that's everything I wanted to say, really. I thought you were listening. You were fast asleep just now, weren't you? I warned you before we started, I have a habit of prattling on. Well, never mind. You're the builder, after all. If anyone can work things out for themselves how to end your giant helmet, a uh, giant mallet, you can. Sweet. Alright, we have that handled. So let me... Let's see. Oh, you, you use a different button for it. Oh, what was that one more time? Press X while holding down right trigger. Ooh. Neat. Plumberry seedling. Nice. All right, got stone. I can make a stone sword and a stone table, a stone stool, stone steps. Okay, a mason's workstation. Okay, that's good. Are we done? Alright. Let's uh, go home. Okay, I guess I'm making uh save. Oh my god. I'm terrifying. 
Uh, I need to make a bed. Okay. Okay. Uh, where is my equipment? There it is. Let's put that away real quick. Put away, put away, put away. Oops. Peace. Oh, I can make a sword. Yeah, let's do that. Can I make a shield? Not yet. I'm missing wood. Let's make wood. Oh, uh oh. Bench. Balloon door. Nice. Okay. shield and then a bed okay put that in there okay Oh my god. Ugh. Sleep. Okay, let's turn in that quest and then I'll probably be wrapping up. By my knobbly knuckles, Toxin, you've done it. You've made, you've built a giant mallet. With a hammer like that, you can smash up all sorts of things that you couldn't smash before. Why, just around here, there are trees and rocks. And through the blue teleportal, there's said to be copper and coal in abundance. Once a clever like, lad like you gets his hands on materials like that, well, there's no end to what you might invent. Just think, when you build your new inventions, you might be able to dream up recipes for even more exciting items. Go on, Taxan. Head out into the world and swing that mallet around like there's no tomorrow. Smash up everything you see and pick up all the materials you haven't been able to collect so far. And if you work out how to build new things, waste no time. Build them straight away. To begin with, why don't we try chopping down one of those nearby trees? Sweet. Alright, let's save. With that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Thank you everyone for being here. Um, I'm going to go get some sleep. Have a good night.